walk in the aisles, and he's touching each one of you on the shoulder, and he's affirming you, and he's calling you by name, and he's saying, oh, I'm here on the first morning of spiritual deepening week. What do you want? What do you need? And I know you're mature enough to know that I'm not saying this giant Santa Claus in the sky, so let's, let's go big. <laughs> I'm saying he's here <laughs> to meet your deepest needs. What would that be? And, and complete restoration. But maybe this man had never given God the opportunity to do that. And again, Satan took a foothold and a bigger foothold until finally he was in complete control of this man. You see, when Jesus doesn't control our lives, Satan has a really good opportunity to come in and take a foothold. And then when things in our lives that are tragedies do happen, even as Christians, we need to give those right to Jesus immediately. Jesus I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I need your help. You've got to come help me. And you will. Because if we don't, then fear sets in, insecurity, a low self-esteem, all kinds of negative things that are not God's plan for us begin to seep into our lives and we start drifting away from the man or the woman that God wants us to be.